So we're at Fullerton and a Muslim booth just popped up. We already got Samuel Green talking to them. So now let's go see what the conversation is like. So the Old Testament prophets made it clear well, that it. humanity is failed in its mission. Yes. Then he was buried. Right, so this is, this is what the prophets dead. from Moses Again, that's, up that's to before Jesus are saying that humanity has failed okay, in its mission and that God is going to do what we have failed to do. Practically and so when Jesus comes, all of the Gospels begin with uh, the quotes from the Old Testament, quotes from the earlier prophets that Jesus is God coming to us. So we see him as, well, what the prophets proclaim about him is that he is the perfect man. He is the perfect man. So um, I can actually look at him directly. Because he is God crazy. perfecting our humanity. Right? So that's just James what it says. It's how every believer, gospel begins to like quotes from Isaiah 40 Jesus about Jesus being the perfect so man. So the fact that he's God that and I mean, you man, yeah, it's, you, you can't just say he's God, therefore right. it doesn't apply because that's only half the story. Right. You've got to have the whole thing. You've got to have the whole thing. The whole thing is that he's the perfect one. I guess my concern is that I've read things about Muhammad which I think not such a perfect oh, example. James. Okay. And, then the and so, you know, I, I could give you an example of why that wouldn't be the case. So you could say that maybe um, somebody, I am the most merciful, right? But I've never been in a position of authority, never had any choice but to be merciful to others. Could you kowtow to those who have authority over you? So, Muhammad's been in authority. And so, it's a difference when looking at somebody in authority and how they establish justice and mercy to somebody who's not in authority. It's, it's, it's a hard comparison to make. Sorry, comparing you to who? Jesus Christ, for example, because I'm, I mean, you're coming from that frame of reference. Okay, I wasn't thinking of that. Um, I'd say that Jesus is a man of authority when you read the Gospels. He's but he wasn't in authority. He had divine authority. We agree on that because we believe he's a prophet. But he wasn't in a position of social authority. Otherwise, he would wouldn't have been yeah, persecuted in that way. Yes. And so somebody in a position of power like has to make certain decisions that somebody who's not in a position of power doesn't disciples. have to make. And, it, it and so we can look at somebody and say, oh, well, this isn't right, but you have to put it inside, like you said, the context. Right. Yes, so certainly Muhammad does the uh, from right the actions of state. The, uh, yeah. He yes. Yes. All He's getting people up and torturing people, yeah, assassinating yeah. women. Never, never tortured anybody, right. never assassinated yeah. any women. I've never um, heard that. I've I've read that. I can I will send you the quotes from Bukhari. Like okay. that, that's that's just there. Okay, that he assassinated so, um, a woman. Yes. He had women uh, killed for me. Uh, what's her name? Like, um like you know something about Vince, when you said that uh, I for, uh, 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 Solima, I think it is, but I, I forgot the lady's yeah, name. It's, it's, in, it's, it's in Ibn Ashak though. It's in, in it's in Ibn Ashak they she was making fun of him. Uh, uh, making uh, satire well, 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 poetry. She, she's doing poetry. Yeah, poetry. So as long as you're alive, you can yeah. still repent. Yeah. So I know of a woman that uh, claimed, to be, a fault, claimed to be a prophet. We would say a false prophet. Are you speaking about her? No, no. She didn't claim prophecy, but in her poetry, she, I guess, offended Muhammad, and so he had her, he had her killed. Okay, because I can think of countless examples where he was offended and nothing occurred. So I would like to see that and maybe see if it's in a context as well. To go back to the Fair. So yeah, if you could um, let me know where yeah. it's found. That, that's a name right. that yes. is yeah, very much uh, Especially if you say it's in Bukhari. Creation. Yeah, well, it's it's Allah, it's Bishak, come to yeah, Ibn it's Bishak. good, but not as good as Bukhari. Yeah, yeah, although Ibn Ishaq's the earliest oh, one. Oh, it's Haq. Ishaq, yeah. This is not the same as something as authoritative as Bukhari, because the standard is more different. So this would be a strong authority So you have a name that you have a assassinations in Bukhari, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't um, disagree. I really disagreed when you said it was a woman. Yeah, that was the. That's the Ibn Ishaq. That's Ibn Ishaq. But, but Ibn Ishaq is the standard from which all the other types of uh, Sirat come from. So yes. He's the foundation. Yeah, yeah. I won't get into the science, but the difference between like establishing a biography is it's a little bit more lenient when they come to the authority as opposed to like something like a hadith directly. But I will say the Prophet said, peace and blessings be upon him, to not uh, kill young children, to not kill the elders. And if you go to fight somebody and it's dark, make sure that you don't kill women. So there is, a, there is a, that is true that he did say that. Yes. But there's also the example where the women and children were killed among the polytheists and the believers asked him about that. He's like, what about the women and children who are killed? And he said, 
they are from among them. It's like, so what? They're, they're from them. I, w I would say, like probably said, men who they are from them is different than saying, like, no what? Well, it's... Because we live, I'll just give you an example. I'm not saying I support this view, but we live in America, you know, you, I'm sure you support the troops. Um, I'm sure you would support also the casualties of war as well. And so this is the reality of war that you are going to have unintended, which is different than, than saying so what. So like, uh, if, if that's the case, then I would think that Muhammad would double down on it the, because they're asking, what if? They're like, what about the women and children? I, I would think that he would be like, yeah, avoid killing them, straight up. Avoid killing them instead of saying they're from among them. But you already said that you admitted you said uh, at the beginning. Yes. Yeah, so that. Yes. Yeah, so that's. Sure. It's, be yeah. scrupulous to make sure you don't kill them. No. To, to me, it's con no. To me, it's contradictory. Yes. So like for me, if he's saying, do not kill the women and children, and they say, okay, well, what about the women and children who will be killed? He says they're from among them. But, but, I think that can also. So we need his right. We need to come at the right point because they're also the booty. Yes. The women are the booty. So why would you kill them? Well, it's also in the Old Testament as well. I know. Yes. Yes. But all I'm saying is, Jesus Christ provides for us. If he says no, don't kill the women and children. Sure. The the duty. I mean, right. you're not going to go in and, and kill the, yeah, the, the, the reward. I, yeah. I, I would like to think that most people, even if they didn't believe that Muhammad was a prophet, would not claim that he wanted children and women to be murdered. I don't think you're making that claim, but it's almost an insinuation. But I don't think you would say that because surely Muhammad, even if he's not a prophet, did not wish that. I think we could agree on that. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I, I would have to do a little bit more research. I'm not going to make the claim right, that he wanted right. children and women yes, to kill. Yes. I'm just saying, but just you, off, you off of that. You that he might not care about yes. women and children. Okay. I mean, there yes. are signs to indicate right. like small things, right? I like, think most people yeah, would yeah, agree. Like some most, most people like that are in like academia like and whatnot, that, that that at like, the very least, he was a righteous and just person. Maybe not a prophet. That's for the Muslims. But I don't, I've yeah, never heard yeah. that. But you're right. We don't what, 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 what would you consider righteous and just? Yeah. Somebody who's kind to the children, kind to every single kind segment. Kind to the children? Uh, in the society. So would, would you, okay, have you heard of his interaction with the orphan girl? Seriously. That he cursed? The orphan girl. I know I haven't. Okay, so there was, a, there was an orphan girl. Uh, I can pull up the hadith for it. I think it's in Bukhari. I, I could pull it up. But uh, there was an orphan girl who he ran into. Uh, and he cursed her, saying, I hope that you don't live long. And she went, cried to her mother, and they came back to the prophet, and he's like, they're like, he's like, What's, what happened? You cursed, you cursed me, you, you wish that I, that I don't live longer. And he's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm human, I, I, I get angry, you know, I lose my temper, like everyone else. So what's the context? So the context is, are you talking about of the, of the hadith? Yeah, walking by and you said, you know what, I'm having a bad day, I hope you don't live long. Like, what's the context? So, so, so let, let, let's, let's pull it up, let's pull it up. <clears throat> let's pull it up real quick, I gotta find it. Now see, the only reason why I, I'm bringing this up is because of the comment of him being righteous and just towards like children and stuff like that, so. That just popped in my head. Okay, so let's see here. You know in the Quran revealed by Prophet Muhammad, rather you think it's from Allah, which we claim, or you just think it's coming from Muhammad, uh, he forbade the, the murdering of the, uh, the female girls because that was a custom of the editors. So the girls, uh, the parents, used to sometimes uh, bury alive the little girls yeah. and leave them like that, and that was something that was forbidden in the time of the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't think that Muhammad didn't didn't do anything good. Right, you know? right, right. <laughs> I don't think he didn't do anything good. Right, um, but, his, but perhaps his harm outweighed his good. Oh, uh, for sure. Otherwise, in my, in my opinion, just. Okay. yeah. In my opinion, yes. My and, and, and from my position right now, yes. I could be wrong. I could be educated, yes. but from right now, what I what I've seen, yes. Yes. Is this it? Oh, here it is. Yes, here it is. Okay, which is the uh, Sahih Muslim, 62.97. Okay. Just so you know, there's like 50,000 hadith. There's so yeah, much. Know, like, there's so know, much, bro. Sorry. No, no, it's good, bro. Yeah. Uh, all right, here it is. I found it. Okay, so on sunnah.com, it's uh, 2603. It has a different numbering. But it says, Anas bin uh, Malik reported that there was an orphan girl with Um Salim, uh, who was the mother of Anas. Uh, Allah's messengers saw that orphan girl and said, so it doesn't tell us what he was doing before, I guess. But he saw the orphan girl and said, oh, it is you. You have grown young. Uh, may you not advance in years. 
That slave girl returned to Um Salim weeping. Um Salim said, O oh daughter, what is the matter with you? She said, Allah's apostle has invoked curse, curse upon me that I should not grow in age and thus I would never grow in age or she said in my length of life. Um Salim went out wrapping her headdress hurriedly until she met Allah's messenger. He said to her, Um Salim, what is the matter with you? She said, Allah's apostle, you invoked curse upon my orphan girl. He said, Um Salim, what is that? She said, she states you have cursed her, saying that she might not grow in age or grow in life. Allah's messenger smiled and then said, Um Salim, don't you know that I have made this term with my Lord? And the term with my Lord is I, that I said to him, one, I am human being, I am a human being, and I am pleased, I am pleased just as a human being is pleased, and I lose temper just as a human being loses temper. Okay. So for any person from amongst my Ummah whom I curse, and he in no way deserves it, let that, O oh Lord, be made a source of purification right. and purity. So first and foremost, we can establish nobody knows the context, not you or I. Except for the fact that he just he no, 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 cursed her out of anger. So you, we don't know. We could imagine, right? Sure. Sure. So have you ever yelled at somebody? Yeah. Cursed somebody? I like, haven't no, cursed them. No. No, no, no. No, no not curse words. It's not a curse word. No, I, I haven't wished Muhammad death. Muhammad was one that did not curse. I, have, I haven't wished death on someone. Death. Okay, I don't think he said death either. Well, he said, I, wish, I hope you right. don't advance in years. Hyperbole. That's death. Hyperbole. Nonetheless, have you ever said anything out of anger? Yes. Maybe even something that you might have regretted. Yes. But does that mean that it, what you were saying was untrue? It was unjust. It was, it's, yes, it's wrong for me to say it out of anger and to try to when we, bring when someone down. When it comes down, to yeah. the prophets, their right actions, their wrong actions are better than our right actions. Meaning that something that's like permissible for them to do, something that's like low for them is high for us. And so his maqam, his station is something higher. What I'm getting at is this. What, what I'm saying is this. He did, you don't know if he did wrong, but you're establishing, you just, you just said, he said this, but not saying why. No, I, 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 no, I know that he did wrong because even he admits that he lost his temper. But, but he did not admit it that he did wrong. That's my point. So that's so this because you even said you've lost your temper before. Yes, and I'm wrong. That you've never no, I've done anything unjustly. No, 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 no. So uh, let, let me uh, let me clarify. So yes. what you what you asked was, have you ever cursed someone before out of your anger? I said no, I've no, never I didn't done say that. that. I said, have you ever been angry? You said yes. <laughs> okay, so let's let's just. Yes. Make sure we're on the same page. Have okay. you ever got angry? Yes, and yes. I and I've and I've I've, I've spoken out of anger, out of anger but every time you speak out of anger, on. has it always been yeah, correct? Just 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 yes. so, no. So I have spoken out of anger and have been wrong before. Yes. So uh, that's what I'm saying. So here he says that he cursed the girl out of anger. Yes. And he's saying he's he didn't apologize for it, but what he said is if she didn't deserve it, if people don't deserve it, let the Lord let the Lord bless them. So he's not apologizing for yes. cursing out of anger, yes. but he's like, okay, well, if, if you don't deserve it, let God bless you instead. And, and, and like, the, the point I was trying to make, I'll make two points. One is you've said you've said something out of anger. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that it was by itself wrong? Mm -hmm. Or every time anybody speaks, does that mean it's wrong if they're angry? Not, not all the time. Not necessarily. So there are times when someone speaks out of anger, maybe even a little harsh, but it's not wrong what they said. Maybe the yeah, delivery yeah, was wrong, but not wrong what they said. Yeah, yeah, man. So when it comes to someone like a prophet, their delivery has got to be right as well. So he's admitting fault because his delivery was incorrect. So okay. that doesn't mean that he's like an oppressor or that he's sinful for doing something like that, merely that he could have done something better. So imagine so imagine this. I, I, I like the, the flow of your conversation. Imagine a prophet, someone who is divinely inspired by God, invoking a curse upon your life, hoping that you, saying, curse your age that, so that you do not live longer. Does God curse people in the Bible? Are you Christian? I am Christian. Okay. So wait, 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 just no, pause, wait, follow, follow my line of thinking. So we're, so we're talking about a human being, right? Just imagine the situation. You're the, the follower of the prophet, okay? He invokes a curse on you. Yes. You believe you believe it like he's divinely inspired. So if yes. he curses me, I'm cursed. If he blesses me, the blessings from God. If he curses me, the curses from God. Right? So the the thought is that because the prophet placed the curse upon me, God he's an he's a person in authority with God. So that's the fear and the weeping. You know? She fears yes. that her life is gonna end shortly because he, he cursed her life. So the higher authority would be God. Does God himself curse people in the Bible? 
He he condemns people to death if that's what you mean. Okay, so if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. So he can do that? Pro Muhammad can do that? Any prophets are nothing more than the yeah, I mean, representatives like, uh, of God. So where does God tell him to curse the orphan girl? I'm not, even some of the you can't say that every single moment Jesus or any other Jesus, God, everything Jesus spoke was God's word. Uh, the preservation yeah. of the Quran versus the preservation of the Bible. Bible. So, so Jesus taught not to curse the others, but to, bless, to love them. Yes, sir. And at every single exchange, at every single moment, they're getting direct revelation? I, I believe when they're given the word of God, uh, yes. yes. But not in this context of speaking. Not, not every time, not everything they speak. Right, and so... But it just was different translations. Right, yeah. I would agree that he was different. He was very special. He didn't have a father. So he was pure. So so going going back to this, the, the, the subject of Muhammad's righteousness or just. I'm just saying I was just showing this as, as an example where he was unrighteous and unjust in cursing an orphan girl's life. I would still say you haven't established that he was unrighteous. How so? So was he right in Cursing the orphan girl's life. He was right. In order to establish that, we would have to say the context. The context. Say the age. Was this somebody that was Mukhalif? Considered an adult. Why does that matter? Why does that matter? Meaning, like, there's somebody that has standing when it comes to being held responsible for what they do in, in God's eyes. Let's, let's say. I, I, why does that? I'm trying to. Why, why is that matter? Is it a child or is it somebody that's an adult? Let's say. Let's say that if you lose your temper with the child, is different than you if you lose it with an adult. Oh, oh, all right. No, no problem. Let's say it's a, a teenager. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to go there with you because I'm not going to say what it was. You're trying to insinuate no, cause, the context. No, because you're, brother, brother, you're saying yeah. you're saying that this determines it, a factor in determining if this was right or wrong yes. of Muhammad to do is if number one, what the one of the reasons you brought up was if the 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 person that's being talked to is of an age where they are responsible for their yes. actions. Yes. So. Let's, I'm trying to go with you. So let's say that this person... Of many variables which are unknown in this context. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what matters. Like, what, why does that complete matter? complete context, because what preceded the action? What preceded it, it says he saw her. He saw her, that's it. That's what it says. Okay, so you're saying that that literally means an orphan girl is walking by, he's seen her without any reason said, may God cause you not to grow older. Or that, according to the Hadith. That's... Is it unreasonable for me to do that? I think everybody would agree that's very unreasonable. Okay. I mean, at least like she stepped on his shoes or something like that. Anything would have been better than just nothing. Just <laughs> walk by like, hey, God curses. I agree. That's very, very... Uh, I agree. That's the point. Oh, my God. Logic.